another item is we have the update to the Mackie control. The world famous Mackie control has finally received a big cosmetic facelift, and we've introduced or sorry integrated a USB interface into it. So now you can connect to your Mac or PC with class compliant drivers with just simply one cable, and I can use the built-in interface to either connect additional extension boxes or anything like a synth or a drum machine. It's just a standard MIDI interface, so you can use it generically or to build a system like this. You'll notice uh, we've included much higher in, uh, contrast buttons, very clear and easy to read from anywhere in the room. Improved display and interface with the angle causing less glare. Improved touch sensitive faders, they're motorized and you can obviously see they're moving. Uh, it works with about 21 different pieces of software. I lost track actually, but Reason, uh, everything Apple makes, uh, Pro Tools, our own traction software. Uh, the list is actually on our website at Mackie.com if you want to see what's compatible with this. And then another new device, the C4 Commander. And the C4 Commander is a box filled with potentiometers. And the software companies, such as Logic Audio, our own traction software, or Sonar on the PC, they decide what they want it to do. But in the case of traction, I can make it into a big transport control and it now has stop, play, fast forward, rewind or a really beautiful plug-in editing interface. So when I push this button, it has now mapped out all of the plug-in parameters here and opened the plug-in for me. And if I turn the automation off, you'll see as I grab and turn parameters, it'll actually adjust on screen bi-directionally. I can either do it here or here, and it updates in real time. Push play, and you'll now see the parameters moving.